Hello everybody and welcome to week two of The Hope Project, where I make songs based on suggestions that you guys leave right there in the comments, and then I donate all the proceeds to the Philadelphia Performance Artist Fund, which is giving relief funds to artists affected by COVID-19. Big shout out to Doug Thomas, Rita Ahern, Charlotte Griffiths, Stephen Heitzer, and Jennifer and Matthew Bryant for donating to the cause last week. The song itself starts at this time code, if you want to watch how it was put together, and I think you will, this one's a weird one, then just keep watching. And with that in mind, let's get started. Hello everybody, don't worry about this, don't focus on this, and welcome to week two of my weekly song challenge. So, uh, we've got a bit of a weird one, <laughs> I think, in store this week. I have uh, four comments that I want to highlight. Uh, my friend Matt, who is a huge history nerd, uh, suggests that I include Rome. Uh, I think he was joking, but I'm calling your bluff. The second is that Kelly, my mom, uh, asked me if I will put trees into the song. She loves trees. Uh, my girlfriend, Carrie, asks if we're gonna put some maracas in there. Of course we are. Best instrument of all time. And my friend, Will, is uh, asking me if I will include some vocal samples like Hideki Naganuma. So, here's what's been turning in my head since I looked at these prompts. Um, first I thought about the maracas, and I thought about what genre would go well with maracas. So uh, I thought maybe something a little dancey. And actually, I've been listening to like nothing but the new Dua Lipa album, Future Nostalgia, and it's very like 80s inspired kind of synth groove kind of thing. And you could easily put some maracas in that. Um, and I feel like you could also easily put a little bit of vocal sampling in there. Now, in terms of the lyrics, we got Rome and we got trees. I'm gonna see if there's like a Roman god of nature. We are going to uh, see if we can write a song about that. <laughs> so I consulted Professor Wikipedia and he led me to the uh, Roman goddess Ceres, who is the goddess of nature and also of motherhood. And my mom gave me the prompt trees, so there we go. You might know Ceres better for her Greek name Demeter, I believe is how it's pronounced. Okay, like 30 second version uh, of the story. Pluto is the god of the underworld. He wants to marry Prosperina. Prosperina is Ceres' daughter. Uh, Ceres is like, no, you can't marry Prosperina. You're the lord of the underworld. You're a sketchy dude. Saturn is like, hey, that's really awkward. Uh, I already promised Pluto that uh, he could have your daughter. So uh, Pluto's just gonna kidnap her because you know, it's, it's Roman myths, it's messed up. And uh, they're gonna go to the underworld. And then Ceres was like, what? You took my daughter and just like searched for her day and night trying to find her. And uh, because she's the goddess of nature and she was preoccupied with all that stuff, like endless winter happened. And eventually a Prosperina gets to stay in the human world uh, half the time and in the uh, underworld half the time and that's why we have a cold season and a warm season. I'm gonna have to edit that down so much. And it's gonna be dark 80s synth rock song about Ceres' search for her daughter and how she's not gonna sleep until she finds her. Okay, so I have gone to a place called the Prelinger Archives. This is like a archive of old PSAs and like public domain weirdness. But literally right on the first page there's a video called Sleep for Health. I think that we can use this in some manner. Instead of opening her window, she this is the visual the equivalent of paint good night, drying. David's bed is comfortable and the mattress oh good, his soft. bed's comfortable. Oh good, good the mattress isn't too soft. I was really worried about that. So, uh, I've grabbed some samples here. So I used the Sleep PSA. I also used a really, really weird, kind of awful one called Control Your Emotions. But here's what I got in terms of vocal samples. Rage. Rage. Fear. Fear. To love. Love. And then I took the intro of the uh, weird PSA, which sounds like this. And I kind of grabbed a section out of it. And looped it in a weird way. And like, maybe I'll use that, maybe I won't. All right, so it's been a little bit since we last spoke and I have been doing some things. So I took that little edited bit that I had of the uh, opening and I made it all fit nicely onto the beat. And then I found this cool, cool bass. It's just like a preset on one of my synths. Right? And so when we combine them, as well as filter out some of the hiss from those strings, Here's what we get. I, I 
like it. I like it. Okay, okay. I had a little idea for a guitar riff and I put in some scratch drums. We're gonna see if we can get that guitar riff down. Quick little scratch melody, kind of like last time, uh, pop into my head, so we're gonna just put that down. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is in a different place now, don't worry about it. I have a lot less time to work on this song actually, so we're gonna see if we can get it done in three days instead of five. So. I had some melody ideas last night at like 3 in the morning, as you do, so we are going to put in some, like, scratch vocals. Make it home, no man's, no, no man's name, no, and I don't know, is that good? It's, we gotta get it done. So I'm thinking about what to do in terms of like background instrumentation in the verses. And even though this is a Roman myth technically and not the Greek version, I kept thinking about the idea of a Greek chorus. So I have this really kind of haunting and a little bit like electronic sounding choir. And we're going to put those into the verse to make it kind of haunting and strange and ethereal. Okay, so we've, I've got this part that like really builds up and I just feel like this song is not going to work if it doesn't get somewhere. Like it's been all built up up to this point and I need this like chorus that just kind of slaps. So I'm, again, bringing in that Dua Lipa influence. I'm gonna try to do like a kind of disco funk chorus for this song about kidnapping. I, uh, <laughs> I'm feeling like really ambitious failure on this thing right now, but we're, we're gonna see what happens. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little scratch, scratch vocal in there. <laughs> Okay, so if we're gonna give this a dance rock groove, it's gonna need some like funk bass. I literally just changed my bass strings. We're gonna perform a bass line, which follows what I call Charlie Puth's law, which is the funkiness of a bass line is uh, proportional to just the amount of octaves in it. Just put octaves in there everywhere. And don't worry, there will be a little bit of slapping. OMG! I think that's it. That took so many takes. Oh, I got blisters on my fingers. Okay, okay. So some of you might have noticed that I've been using rage, fear, and love as the words for the hook. Um, I'm gonna keep those in the song. I like them, but I had this idea in the back of my head of how to use the vocal samples. Listen to this. Right? <laughs> All right. Now it's time to lay down some rhythm guitar. I have no idea what the part's gonna sound like in the pre-chorus, but in the chorus, I think I know. And uh, if we're gonna rip off the Silver Sun pickups, we're gonna rip them off right. Here we go. Hello everybody and welcome to day three. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty critical day. I'm gonna try and basically get the song done. Hopefully all of it, if not, then I need to have at least like everything but the vocals done today if I wanna get this thing out on time. So since last time we spoke, just a couple things that I did. I started writing the lyrics. I like where they're, uh, where they're heading so far. And I came to my senses on the choir and I switched it out for a nice uh, synth pad, which sounds like this. <laughs> It's a lot subtler, a lot less overdramatic. 
I like it a lot better. So what we're gonna do right now is um, I kind of have like a very synthy part and a very rock part, and they're not really sitting together well yet in terms of the song structure. So I'm going to add a little bit of the synth bass to the to the rock part, and I'm gonna add a little bit of the real bass to the synth part, and hopefully that'll help them kind of be a little more simpatico. Another thing that I'm gonna do to make that transition make more sense is actually back off a lot of the instruments, so make the abruptness kind of the point. So I'm gonna have the drums cut out, I'm gonna have the synth bass cut out, and I'm just gonna have the uh, bass in the chorus and the uh, synth pad that I replaced the choir with. So I'm gonna record that synth pad now. <laughs> All right, now some of you might recall that we gotta put some maracas in this. Um, I definitely didn't forget. And we've got this little breakdown part without any percussion. So I went online, I literally Googled free maraca sample. I grabbed two, I did a little bit of editing to make them be on time with this song, and it kind of works. Listen to this. <laughs> I decided to kind of put them side by side so that there'd be some interesting interplay with the stereo. I'll be damned if that doesn't work. Maracas done. I know that I want a solo in this song, and I have an idea for how I'm going to do it that I'm going to keep a little bit under wraps, but for right now, I need to kind of beef up the solo part a little bit with a little bit of rhythm guitar, so that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so here's a little fun fact. So I actually went and uh, totally intended to record myself playing the drum set over there instead of using the scratch drum track. But when I tried to do it, I actually really liked the scratch drum track more. Uh, something about the roboticness of it kind of fits with the, with the mood of this song and ties it back into that original idea of being like a little bit of an 80s throwback. So we're sticking with that. All right, welcome to the Shred Zone. So um, it's day four, it's like midnight. Uh, the song has a solo in it, if you remember, and I wanted a friend of mine who is an amazing guitarist to do the solo, and then her cat chewed through her only guitar cable. And it broke. So I'm doing the solo now. Uh, soloing is something that I find personally pretty challenging, but um, I've spent a little bit of time writing this solo. It's not super technical, but I think that it fits the song. So let's get that recorded. I just finished the solo, which means I just finished the whole track. So without further ado, here is Rage, Fear, and Love. She's found, I will save her soul There's no duty now There's only
There's no stopping now She's waiting Oh, 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 oh,